Yeah, this is what you look like when you've been out working in the garden all day. So yes, during the pandemic, we made the decision to be, we made the choice to be as self-sufficient as possible. And no, we're not those, any of the, we're not those crazy prepper people, okay? But we did make the choice to be as self-sufficient as we possibly could out here. Um, and part of that was growing our own food. Now I know a lot of people think, oh, I, I live in a small house or I live in an apartment. I can't possibly grow my own food. Well, you absolutely can, even if you don't have room for a garden like we have. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you can grow in containers. Not only do I have a garden garden, um, but I also have a pretty good sized container garden. So let me just show you some of the things that you can plant. So we're starting over here with a Cherokee tomato. Now I have no idea what this is going to be like. I've never had Cherokee tomato before, but it was a gift from a friend. And so I'm going to see what it does. We love our tomatoes. So we also have some San Marzano tomatoes and some yellow, sweet yellow cherry tomatoes. And then of course, I love my herbs, so up here I have my basil. You absolutely can plant beans in a container. These are wax beans. They will grow quite nicely in a container. You just need a tomato cage or some kind of trellis for them to climb on. So here shortly I'll grab one of the tomato cages and bring it over and let them climb on it. Next to that we have the banana peppers. We love our banana peppers. Um, so we plant some of those every year and they do quite nicely in a container. Mint. I actually prefer to keep mint in a container because it spreads so quickly. It's easy to get out of control in your garden. So if you keep it in a container, it's much easier to keep it under control. More cherry tomatoes. Like I said, we love our tomatoes in the summer, so there's some more cherry tomatoes. Here's my lettuce bed. So we have four different types of lettuce here. And the great thing about lettuce is as you harvest the outer leaves, it will continue to grow. So you can have lettuce pretty much all summer long. These are some bush beans that I just planted, so I just planted those. So nothing to see here yet, but I'll keep you posted on as they grow. Here's yet more tomatoes. These are yellow pear tomatoes. Like I said, we really like our tomatoes. Okay. Would you believe you can plant cantaloupe in a container? Yes, you can. They will work quite nicely. Parsley. I have parsley planted all over the place. Um, some for me and some for the swallowtail butterfly caterpillars that will feed on them later this year. Swallowtails are beautiful, so we want to keep them going. So I plant extra parsley every year for the swallowtail babies. And then coming over here, we have our oregano. I love to cook, so I have all kinds of herbs. Right next to it, we have cucumbers. And yes, you can grow cucumbers in a container. They will work quite well. And yes, more herbs. This is my pineapple sage. I have never grown pineapple sage before. This was the first year I saw it, where I buy my plants and seeds. So I was intrigued and I bought some just to see what I can do with it. There are all kinds of books and websites that will teach you about container gardening um, and a lot of um, county extension services will also have gardening classes. I actually took one last year that was organized by our local food pantry. So that was pretty cool. And if you think you don't have a, even a space outdoors, now we have some wonderful things called tower gardens. My friend actually showed these to me, where you can actually grow plants. You can grow a garden in your house, no soil required. 
So I will post the link to her container gardens. She she sells them. So I will promote I will post the link to that in the description so you can check that out if you think you absolutely have no place for a garden. But homegrown vegetables and herbs are just better tasting. They're usually healthier for you and you're not dependent on anybody for your produce. So check out some container gardening if you think you don't have room for a regular garden. And that's it. Life on the dirt road is being self-sufficient and we're growing garden in a container. <laughs>